Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, we're still inside. Yeah, weather is still not cooperating. So I figured today it would be a good time for us to talk about things like bike security. <laughs> bike security. Um, as you might know, I, I used to work in law enforcement. I was a former evidence technician. I worked for several law enforcement agencies. And I kind of feel that um, people should be more crime conscious. Yeah, sometimes people aren't but you kind of should be, all right? Now, here's the thing with bikes. If somebody wants to steal your bike, they're gonna get it, all right? You gotta have to know that, all right? Because thieves are pretty good now in figuring out how the best way is to cut through your locks. <laughs> That's true, yep, they've got power tools. Uh, some guys just use bolt cutters. Depends on how you lock up your bike. So the best you can really do is to try to prevent them from getting it quickly. That's about all you can do. If they really want it, they're going to take it, all right? So the whole thing with the bike security things that we use when we go riding, it's really to kind of deter the uh, would-be thief, all right? Not a guy that's professional who's ready to steal everything, all right? It's the guy that kind of walks by and says, whoa, that looks like a pretty nice bike. Hmm, doesn't look locked up. Let me see if I can take it. It's going to stop that guy, all right? But the guy who comes out with boat cutters and power tools, Forget it, man. They're going to take your bike, all right? I don't care how much you do. They're going to steal that bike, all right? So, but here's the thing. If, if you're going to go ahead and lock your bike up somehow, you might as well use some good tools. So let me show you what I use and how I deal with it, all right? So the very first thing that I bought when I got my first e-bike was this. Let me, let me pull this out here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at this monster. This is a kryptonite New York lock. Now, this thing weighs a ton. I'm not kidding. I don't, I don't know what the weight of this thing is. What is this? 10, 12 pounds? Maybe heavier? I don't know. It's really heavy. I mean, look at the links on this thing. Yeah, they can cut through this too. They use power tools and cuts through it. Same, with, same thing with the lock. I mean, this is the um, kryptonite ugh, <laughs> New York lock. Um, yeah, this is, this is heavy duty, but uh, still very easy to cut through for someone who's uh, experienced in using power tools. And it's not very big either. As you can see, it only goes this, this far. <laughs> so you have to be uh, selective on what you're going to use to, to secure it to. Um, here's the thing. Don't just put it on, on your front wheel <laughs> because we have quick release tires. You'll find that your bike will be gone and your wheel will still be there. <laughs> All right. Put this around the frame okay so what i usually do is i put this around the frame and the back wheel and then i lock this up to a stationary object that's not easy for them to break through either so we're talking like um you know you know some of these uh bike uh, racks i don't go through the thin little bars of the bike rack i go through the big metal bar <laughs> that they use to secure it to the concrete that's what you secure it to, okay? Don't secure it to the thin little bars that they have for little slots for, for bike wheels. That's, they can cut through that too, so you've gotta go for the thickest thing that you can get it to. But again, like I said, this is not very big. Now they do have a larger um, version of this chain, but the bigger the chain is, the heavier and heavier it gets. So here's what else I do. <laughs> Simple cable lock, okay? Now, for, for this type of uh, cable system, this is the easiest thing for them to cut through, all right? But what I do is I put this through, let me, let me unravel this here. I put this through the chain and then I lock this as well, okay? So this goes through my front wheel, all right? Now, if they really wanna take your front wheel, they're gonna take your front wheel. But again, to discourage the would-be thief that's just casually walking by and says, oh, look, oh, a bike, let me see if I can steal that. I'm not talking about you know, professional bike thieves. I'm talking about the casual guy trying to steal your bike. This will still deter. If this is all you use to lock your bike, <laughs> you're probably gonna lose your bike, okay? So I use this for the front wheel because again, that, that other chain, uh, not long enough to be able to do anything for everything, okay? So front wheel with this, bike frame and rear wheel with the other one. 
here's another type of lock that I use. All right, this is made by Abus. This is the Abus, uh, they call it Bordeaux something or other. <laughs> yeah, it, this, again, not very big, right? Once, once it's closed up. But again, I use this uh, around the frame. And if I can get it around the back wheel, great. If not, uh, then I will use that uh, cable to, to help it out. All right, this folds up really easy. Again, really heavy. Now they make different versions of these. The Abus is probably one of the better ones. It costs a little bit more money. It's a hundred and something dollars, but um, this is one that's a little easier to carry around than that big heavy chain. So that's what I use to lock up bikes if I have to lock up a bike, okay? Now carrying that big heavy chain is kind of a pain. I, um, I did it once or twice and I said, I'm not bringing this thing anymore. <laughs> I mean, I might want to use that if I was going to chain it up to, um, uh, to maybe to the rear of my car. You know, what if I have the bike on a bike rack and I want to make sure that they can't get it? I might stick that chain between a couple of bikes so they can't lift the bike out of there, right? Because two bikes are chained together. That might be something that would be worth considering doing. Um, I wouldn't do that while you're driving, but, you know, if you had to leave it somewhere and the bikes are sitting on the back of your car, you might want to use that big chain for that or use the Abus to secure the two bikes together. You know, when they're both stuck together, you can't really easily grab and, and run off with it. I mean, the bikes are fairly heavy, as you know, and uh, most of these bikes are probably 80 to 100 pounds at this point on some of the big bikes that I have. So um, that's, that's a way to do it. Now, here's another thing that you can do. I, I don't have a physical one here to show you, but because it's on the bike itself right now, and I don't have it on every bike, but I put it on one of the bikes. It's a bike alarm. Now these things actually do work and they do work really well, all right? Now the nice thing about the bike alarm is that you can arm the bike with the bike alarm and then walk away from the bike and then if anyone touches the bike and moves it, it's going to sense that and it'll give them a warning chirp. Now if they keep messing with it, it'll start going off on them. Now you have to, you have to hide the alarm somewhere, all right? got to find a place that they, you can hide it that they can't get to it because if they can get to the alarm box they can break that alarm it'll stop the alarm all right now here's the thing when people say that this is for um, uh, so that people can't steal your bike let me say this again people can steal your bike all right all this is going to do is slow them down that's all you're going to do but maybe that's going to be enough for you to get outside and stop um, the person from trying to steal the bike all right now, these alarms have remote controls, so you can actually arm it with the remote and turn it off with the remote, okay? That's kind of cool because it's kind of like, like an alarm for your car. I mean, even with cars with alarms, people don't steal cars. Come on, they still steal the car. It's gotten to the point where people have uh, kind of gotten used to hearing alarms going off and they just don't pay attention anymore. So all this is going to do is cause some noise and maybe the guy's going to think twice. Maybe he'll run off, okay? But again, if they want to steal it, they're going to steal it, all right? You just have to be close enough to your bike to be able to stop it. That's, that's about all you can do, all right? So I really don't care what uh, companies say where it says, okay, this is going to stop your, the thief. It won't stop the thief, all right? <laughs> it's just going to slow the thief down. That's really all these, these security measures are going to be good for. So there you have it. I just wanted to at least put it out there um, if, if you have something to lock up your bike put down in the comments what you use and what your feelings are about this whole thing about bicycle theft all right now if you ever had your bike stolen tell us a little bit of details about what happened yeah sorry if your bike got stolen but that is the reality of what can happen with any type of property <laughs> people can steal it um yeah i mean the whole thing about insurance and everything like that that that's another story right and other things that people do is they register their bikes with the police, all right? Some of the uh, local cities will ask you to register your bike with them. They'll give you a little sticker, you stick it on the, on the bike. Now, that's not gonna stop a thief from stealing your bike, all right? What that will do is if, if the police recover the bike, all right, and they see the sticker, they know who it belongs to. That's basically all that will be doing, but uh, it's better than nothing, right? There's also um, some websites that you can do uh, to register your bike there so that if anything ever gets stolen, you can get onto that website and mark it as stolen. And then if it's ever recovered, it's on that, that database. And so people know where that bike goes back to, all right? 
So I'll put a link in, in the description of the videos so that you can get access to these uh, registration type sites and, uh, and do that. Okay, now, do I register all my bikes? No. <laughs> and the reason is because I don't keep the bikes you know, very long. I, I keep them for the time that I need them to ride for these videos. And then as you know, I end up uh, eventually selling off the bike. So I initially started out registering my bikes, but then I kind of said, nah, it's just too many. I can't, I can't do this. And then I'd have to unregister it, you know, before it's sold and everything. I just say, nah, I, I can't do it. So I'm a little different than the average person, but the average person, if you only have one or two bikes, why not register it? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Put it in there let people know that that's your bike serial number. Okay. And where do you find the serial numbers too? A lot of times it is on the front of the bike. Yeah, on the headstock of the bike. If you look there, it's usually, um, a lot of them have them imprinted right there. So, but so you have to look around, you know, some bike uh, companies might use different places, but usually right on the front of the headstock of the, of the, of the bike, it's, it's imprinted there. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.